Good morning everyone. So I thought I would take you guys with me to my gym this week. Right now it's Monday and I go three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And yeah, my gym does both Pilates and health training. And Monday um, I'm going to do Pilates with my trainer. So yeah, I thought you guys might want to see what I do in my gym and what my gym looks like. It is a really pretty all girls gym. So I really wanted to take you guys with me. I'll see you guys there. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor Don't work too hard, my break a backbone Return of the Mac, the king is back though Corvette and cash, I never like those She saw the stone, you know how that go Fatality, my diamonds that cold Versace chunks, I hit my backstroke Knock on the door, she at the back bro All I really take is a little taste I got blue eyes with a little bass for the thrill, I don't need a chaser Wanna vibe it and get away Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way Don't step out the line like this a probate You hit the line and try to locate This for the time, got time for no day War. Too many, I'm going Too crazy and I got Bad ones and they ready A good time, so now it's In the week we left us home and my mom made me these like egg baguettes with guacamole on them and balsamic vinegar on the top mm -mm -mm. I love guacamole so my goal with this diet is to cut down on carbs right and this is carbs but my personal trainer told me that I should cut down on carbs but not cut carbs completely because then um, it's easier for you to have like a yo-yo effect after the diet if you cut carbs completely. Day two, I'm eating a chicken breast avocado salad with bread and olive oil for breakfast. For lunch, I ate two sweet potatoes, which is a really popular diet food in Korea. Then I went to Costco to do some grocery shopping. I need a diet, but all these bread makes me want to eat it. Everything looks so good. But I need to choose diet foods. This madam one looks so good. Fresh mozzarella. Ma, plants jump, come on, jump, ha. gym I'm so tired <laughs> as soon as I get back from the gym I eat so this is day three of my diet and so far I've been pretty successful not eating after seven I thought would be super hard for me because I'm so used to binge eating at night but I don't know if it's because like I'm really determined to like do well this time Surprisingly, 
it hasn't been too hard. I think once I set my like mentality to doing something, I just like do it. You know what I mean? In the past, when I say I'm gonna diet, I didn't feel the urgency to diet, so I guess I never pulled through with it. But this time, I really feel the urgency to lose weight. So, yeah, after seven, I just like don't feel like eating. And the other day, we had like a going away goodbye party for my cousin who's like leaving back to Canada. We bought a lot of like bread and desserts for him. And I left his apartment at like 1 a.m. And until then, like since 7 p.m., I didn't eat anything, even though everybody was eating pastries and like desserts right in front of me. And normally, I'd be the one eating all of those like the most. So I've literally just cut down on all like bad carbs I guess. The reason why people don't eat after 7 is because I'm gonna have to do more research on this but basically there's like something like a gly glyceric acid or whatever can either break down carbs or your fat but if you eat carbs they will get the supply from the carbs not your fat so you shouldn't eat carbs after 7 p.m. if you want to lose weight and burn fat because if you eat those carbs instead of burning fat those enzymes or acid or whatever will burn your carbs to form energy if that makes sense so throughout the week every time i got hungry i would eat fruits as my snacks and every time i craved something sweet i would drink coconut water or this probiotic drink for dinner, I ate this mussel soup that my mom made me. I also got this Meditherapy mat. You just put your feet on it and it massages you. Day 4, I started off my day drinking a celery smoothie. My mom claims that carrot soup is good for your health, so she made me eat it. For lunch, I met up with my friend and we went to Kuchara. This is basically an exact replica of Chipotle. I got a burrito bowl. For rice, I always choose brown rice instead of white rice. I got a steak one and asked them to take out sour cream and cheese. For dinner, I'm eating shabu shabu again, but at home. It's super easy to make and it's really healthy, so it's my go-to diet food. You just dip the meat in soy sauce like this. For breakfast, I ate another chicken breast salad. For lunch, I ate a capri salad, which is mozzarella cheese with tomato. For dinner, I ate K barbecue, but with no rice. This is cognac jelly. This is like the most popular diet snack in Korea because it's only two calories. Ah! I sprayed it on my face. This is why I can't fill mukbangs. This one tastes like lychee and it's just like lychee jelly, you know, and it fills your stomach up. That's why a lot of Koreans eat this as a diet snack because it's sweet but low in calories and fills you up. I ordered a whole box and I finished it already. Honestly, like I can't finish the whole thing in one sitting because it fills you up and you get kind of sick of the taste because it's not actually, it doesn't taste like much. It's just like lychee flavoring on clear jelly so it doesn't taste like that good you know but it still tastes good for like a snack if you're hungry yeah, I recommend this. day seven lunch i ate out with my friend and i tried to eat healthy throughout the week every time i meet with my friends for dinner i ordered salad -y, which is a famous salad place in korea right before 7 p.m hit i decided to eat a mango yogurt bowl because i got hungry again i sprinkled some granola 
Okay, so finally that night I weighed myself and I was 50.5 kg. I started off as 53 kg, so honestly I didn't lose too much weight, but I think I did burn a lot of body fat. According to my in-body test that I did when I first started my PT lessons, I was at 26% body fat. Overall, I've never passed 50 kg in my life, so this is still an all-time high weight for me, but I didn't want to focus too much on weight loss, but rather healthy eating habits, this diet, so I guess I would say it was successful. Hope you enjoyed this what I ate in a week in my life Korean diet edition and just a reminder that your weight doesn't define you and you're beautiful no matter what but let's all strive to eat a bit healthier and have healthier exercising habits. Bye!